All right, guys, welcome back. It's me, Courtney, mermaid. I don't know what I'm doing here, but we're painting tails. I'm painting tails. Me and the dog are painting tails. It's exciting. Um, so yeah, this is part three of my tail making painting series. Um, previous video is linked down below if you missed it. Um, obviously, I don't always wear the same clothes. I'm inspired and it's like 32 degrees in my apartment, which means that everything's drying like super ultra mega fast. Um, which means I can just keep working. So, previous video, same day. Air conditioner is still going. It's super loud. Um, but yeah, so since the last video, uh, I have completed the front and the back, it's still drying, um, and now I'm just making my way up the legs. So I'm going to be getting to another crucial blending part where I get lots of questions. Um, the single, well not the single biggest, I seem to say that for everything, but this is still a really huge question. Ooh, am I covered in green? No, I'm okay that I get asked is how I blend the colors. Um, people often think that I buy fabric that's just this color and that it's not actually, it's actually white. See, it's all white and ugly and then I make it pretty. Um, so the stuff on the sides is done with two brushes and a sponge. So while I'm not doing side shading on this tail, the green tail that I'm working on, um, there's gonna be blending going up the knees so yeah let's just dive right into it okay so sorry there's like mermaid tails and monofins like all over my floor I can barely walk around anywhere here okay so there's gonna be spots where you got a little bit of a, a yucky area here this is totally normal if you work and then stop and then continue working after the paint dries, this like overlappy yuckiness is totally normal and you're actually not going to see it this, this way once you've painted the scales um, on it. And in fact, it's actually going to give the scales some texture. So don't be upset if you're like, oh, I got a little thing and I got another little thing and he he. No, don't worry about it. It's not going to be a big deal. And the way that I do this now, so you can see I've painted up, this is going to be sort of midway up my calves, if I'm not totally mistaken. Sort of at the, yeah, midway up my calves. So what I'm doing is the same thing like how I did this um, on a dry brush, although my brush isn't actually dry, but use a dry brush. Uh, I had to wash mine because I was obviously doing other stuff. Um, and you're just like lobbing it on there, lots of, lots of paint, right? And then stroke and then pull up. Right, so it starts to fade because that's how you're gonna <laughs> blend it all the way up there, okay? So you're just gonna go get close to the edge, but don't worry about this. I'm actually gonna fill the tail with uh, stuff, <laughs> stuff, whatever's around at the time, and that's what's gonna be awesome, okay? So So this part actually goes pretty quick. What sucks is having to wait for it all to dry um, and then having to do the other side. <laughs> Don't you just kind of wish that you did one side and it just kind of went through and then you didn't have to do the other side? It's kind of what I wish, but um, that's okay. So in a second here, I'm just gonna refer to my, um, to Miranda, my other tail since she is the one that I am copying for this, I want to make sure that I've gone high enough up with the blue. I didn't actually use this specific color on her. Um, I actually did it in like, was it this color or was it? Oh, maybe it was. No. Yes. It was, but I had dark blue scales over top and because I'm not doing the dark blue scales this time, because they didn't show up at all underwater, you can barely see them. So I'm sticking to straight silver scales, but I still wanted to get this look of some darker um, as I'm getting towards the fluke. So that was kind of a thing. 
I hope you guys are having fun so far. I know I'm having a lot of fun. You know, a little a few stressful moments, but okay. We're coming up to a really important note that you're gonna need to hear about dealing with seams and why seams and fabric tails suck a lot. But I'm gonna need to um, blow dry this quick, so I will be right back after I blow dry this. I'm not using like a special blow dryer or anything, like it's just a cheapy, um, it's actually super old. And it's not even mine, actually, it's Eric's. And you can see I use it a lot because I've got yellow paint on there and blue paint and purple paint and yeah, I'll be back. Okay, so this is where you wanna be a little bit careful. I, it's mostly dry, like when I touch it, not a lot of paint comes off. Um, so I know how to do this well enough that I'm comfortable to keep working um, and not fearing like smudging everything. Um, but if you haven't done this before and you haven't really experienced what it's like to work with this paint, I would probably let it dry until it's dry before you do what I'm about to do. Um, However, you don't have to listen to me. You can do whatever you want to do. Um, so I'm just going to keep going. <laughs> there you go. All right, so I'm going to flip this sucker over now. Try and not, once it's over, don't like smear it around because that's going to be a problem, okay? Just like lift in place, lift in place, okay? Very, very much having a system here, okay. So here's where you're gonna see, I'm probably gonna get a bit of a line here. It's not gonna be a big deal. So don't freak out. I do know what I'm doing. I've made like, I, I can't have lost count now how many of these I've made. Um, the scales do make it look good though, trust me. I'm not kidding. You know what makes me kind of sad is I have never gotten a lot of footage of me, actually I've got no footage underwater of me and my blue fish tail. It kind of breaks my heart. I worked so hard on that tail and I barely used it at all. Again, just get as close to the edge as you can and then kind of make a mental note of how, uh, like just double check how far up you went. You want it to match all the way around because we're gonna try and make it look like there's no seam even though there's a very obvious seam. We have to get creative um, since there isn't a way to do this without a seam. Cause we sewed it. What do you want? A miracle? Come on. I'm not gonna lie though, I'm getting better at hiding it. Especially when you see how we do the scales, you're gonna be like, wait, what? I'm sure a few of you are wondering why there are no scales in this fabric yet. A lot of people ask me if it's fabric that I bought. Alfie, shush! I'm trying to film here, pal. Whoa, what? What? You, what? Come here! Come here! Yee -yee 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 -yee. I'm gonna make you blue. Come here. Come here. Oh, you're in trouble. You're in so much trouble. Oh, what's that? What is that? Mm -hmm. I swear, if he's not careful, I'm gonna make him a mermaid tail too. <laughs> but yeah, a lot of people think that um, the fabric that I get already has scales on it and I just sew it together. I do not, in fact, do that, okay? As you can plainly see, um, the scales are done one at a time with a stencil and this brush and it's a huge pain, but if you find the right TV show to binge watch while you're working on it, um, then it's not really that big of a deal. Okay. And now I need to blow dry again. See you in a second. Okay, so grab a box or a book or a pillow. If you are gonna be upset Sorry, it's so bright. Um, if it's something that you're gonna be upset to have ruined, please wrap it in plastic. 
because I would hate for you to come crying to me and be like, oh, Courtney, the paint went through the fabric, ah, which it will. So um, I just have an old like shipping box. My bird's food came shipped in this box and it's the right size and it should be bigger, but we are gonna leave it in here too long because it's gonna stretch. So let's do this, do it fast, get her done, let's go. So gob it on because you want to get it all in the seams and like jam it in there. Like I'm, I kid you not, like woo, right in there. Get it in there, work it in. If you see some spots on the fabric that are a little bit missing in the paint kind of way, gob them up too, really get it in there. You do have to move a bit quickly because you don't want your fabric to get too warped with this in there but this is the best thing that I've got at the time. So I'm working with what I have, people. And this is how you effectively hide seams in painted tails, because as it stretches, the white will show through. So if you pre-stretch it and then paint it, you aren't gonna find yourself in the same pickle you would otherwise be in. You wanna get this right the first time, because if you find yourself having to do this again later, you are going to be very frustrated. Especially if you notice it after you started painting on scales, and I kid you not, that is really frustrating. So please just heed my sort of warning here. Um, I need to blow dry this quick. All right, so my blow dryer decided to overheat. That's fine. I'm going to just keep going anyways. Well, looks like I have to air dry it, but that's okay. Oh man. And you'll note, this is why I asked you guys to sew it really, really well when you were first making this puppy, because you will be tugging and you will be ripping on it, which is why you never want to go too quickly along the, um, the beginning stages, like of actually constructing the tail. You want to take time to do it right or you will hate yourself later, I promise. Just dabbing some of the excess off. There's a little bit of excess there. These two colors, this um, green, blue, and turquoise actually blend really nicely together. So I think in the future I might wanna buy like a second. Oh, you guys can't see what I'm doing. Oh no, oh no. Uh, okay. Hopefully you could see the other stuff. I guess I'll have to find out when I'm editing. Oh no. So this is the same principle as it was used down there. Now we're not aiming for streaking, but it might happen. Don't sweat it. Again, I cannot repeat this enough. The scales are going to hide the majority of your painting flaws. S flaws. So if you do find yourself with areas where you put too much paint on or not enough paint, like Seriously, it's actually going to be hidden by scales. So, scales and a ton of sequins. This thing is going to be loaded. I kid you not, I am going to go to town. I actually might need to order more. I should probably check my supply after I finish this video. And this is the exact same technique that I used on Miranda, my original, original tail. The neighbor's kids, I swear to goodness, I hate them so much. I just want to be like, you know what? Our backyard isn't actually a daycare. Just saying. Just putting that out there. Any of you guys have annoying neighbors? I'd love to hear. I'd love to know. And what's really funny is all my other neighbors agree with me, and they're like, oh yeah, it's so annoying, it's so annoying. But nobody ever backs me up and, and like, says anything to these people and it's so frustrating so to be like come on you guys like you can't just you know okay, this is looking good it's looking so good uh oh <laughs> my brushes look exactly the same i think this one's the green i'm pretty sure this one's the green yes it's the green
So I have now commandeered like every single one of these containers. Eric is gonna be so impressed, but I'm gonna buy more, I swear. In fact, I'm pretty sure I bought these. I can't remember though. But anyways, draft my brushes because I was working earlier, so they're all wet and gross. Gonna need to mix. I'm gonna need to mix those two guys together. Get an in-between color, half and half. Um, sorry for all the clanking. I'm just cleaning off all my cutlery that I used for mixing the stuff. So the remainder of this tail, so this is what it's what I've got so far, the remainder of this tail uh, from here up is going to be green, so I should actually, uh, I should actually do that. Woo! Don't be getting snubbly with me there, buddy. Uh, I'm going to start throwing down some green up in here just because I like to kind of get messy with it and start putting down some color. I love, this is my favorite part, busting open a new container. Scope this action out. Oh yeah. That's the stuff right here. The, the stuff dreams are made of. Mm, green everywhere. Um, some people don't like this green. I freaking love this green. I love it so much. I could just eat it. But I'm not going to do that because that's super gross. Okay. You excited? I'm so excited. Oh, you can't even see. Okay. Hold the phone. Whoop. Okay, now you can see. Oh, this is so nostalgic, you guys. Oh, my first couple of tails had, had so much of this green on it. This makes me so tickly and happy. Of my tails so far, what do you guys, which one have you guys liked the best? I know it's kind of stupid to ask while I'm working on a new tail, which isn't even done yet. But um, of the tails I've made thus far, painted tails, uh, you guys have a favorite? And again, I remind you not to be overly concerned with patches that aren't totally like, this isn't gonna look totally solid one color unless you get like an airbrush and I've never used an airbrush with this paint so I cannot say whether or not it actually works with an airbrush I'm sure you could do some research on your own and find out um, but it's the little imperfections that are actually gonna make it feel more like textured scales once you start putting the actual scales on so please do not fret do not comment below crying because you've got little streaky lines in your tail like don't sweat it okay I've made a lot of these. I have figured, I have figured it out. I promise, it's not that big a deal. I used to get so upset about it. In fact, I think I blue fish tail. I had like, I remember having a couple little breakdowns because I thought I was making such a mess, but I wasn't even making that big of a mess. I could have had so much more fun with it. And I was just so freaking out and it was really stupid. And I feel really stupid now about the whole thing, but whatever. <laughs> Done is done. So this is half of one, and then half of the other one. Okay. How cool that looks. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> So don't forget, this is why you need three brushes. Where the heck's my third brush? Uh, oh, there it is. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm good, I got this. Um, but yeah, so this is gonna be like the in-between color. Make sure your brushes are all handy and try to keep them separate because all the colors start to look the same after a while. So just uh, separate your troop, your team, your guys. Okay, let's do this. Who is super mega ultra excited? I know I am. I'm totally stoked. And just back and forth. Just swish it. Just like whoop, 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 whoop. Just adjust this a little bit so you can see better. There we go. Okay. A little bit of this action going on. 
where the third brush comes in. Uh, now you're gonna grab this guy, you're gonna get a little bit more of this action happening here, because this area has dried a little bit since I last worked on it. So you get a little bit of both guys kind of going here at the same time. And that really helps to blend it. I haven't needed to use the sponge yet. I don't think I'm actually going to with this tail just because what I'll do is I'll do a separate video um, for anybody interested in doing the side blending like I did there and I'll actually show you guys how to do that. But first I'm gonna finish this bad boy because I know the full painted tail tutorial has had so many requests. Oh my goodness, I love you guys for being patient. <laughs> My life was a little bit of a disaster this year, but that's okay. <laughs> Hanging in there. My neighbors seem to have quieted down for a second, so hopefully that lasts more than two freaking minutes. I think if I was gonna describe how these um, paints react to one another, I'd probably say they actually act a bit like felts. Um, yeah, they kind of act a bit like felts. So as they overlap each other, they get a little bit darker each time. It's kind of weird, um, to be totally honest. Which is why it's really good to work with this stuff while it's still um, a bit wet. I don't remember which brush is which anymore. Woohoo! iron this bad boy. Check it out. What? What? <laughs> and of course, by iron, I, um, I meant, um, um, blow dry. So, um, as you can see, done and done. I just have to wait for it to dry now for a little while um, because it's such a large area. Yeah, I'm up here, not down here, hi. Um, because it's such a large area, I'm gonna leave it to dry for a little bit um, before I come back, put the box in it, do the seams. And then a little bit inside the lip there. And once that's done, then the base color is pretty much set. So. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Okay, so my tail is done and it's not yesterday anymore. I actually gave up waiting for it to dry. My neighbors were making me so nuts that I took the dog for a walk and was like, forget it. I'll just finish this tomorrow. So I did. So, um, base coat is now completely done. I'm gonna show you in a second. It's all, not all still wet, but the top portion's still a little bit wet. I'm gonna explain to you some stuff. Um, but now that the base coat's finished, now I get to move on to the fun stuff. This is where you get to be so creative and have some serious, seriously good times, guys. Uh, in the next video, we're gonna talk about scales. We're gonna talk about thin details. Um, and then in following videos, we're going to be talking about sequins. Oh, I gotta order some sequins. I have no green sequins left, you guys. Oh my god. Okay. That's okay. <laughs> Emergency shipping! Um, okay. Anyways. So scales, uh, sequins, some of my other fun tricks for adding little texture and other elements to the tail, and all that good stuff and I am NOT wearing glasses because I'm wearing contacts because I got my eyes fitted for new contacts and I also got some new glasses which I can't wait for them to get here but let's show you this tail be awesome okay so here's what we're rocking um, when you paint when you're doing your waistband it's still a bit wet here that's the outside and also paint one fold over on the inside so you'll see this is actually folded over uh, on itself, okay? So, see, what, green paint everywhere. It's gonna dye me green for the rest of the day. Um, that's important just because when the, the, good goodness, neighbors, when the water pulls your tail up, you are gonna see a little bit on the inside and it's less jarring if it's the same color as it was on the outside. Um, you don't have to do more than that. You, you could if you really wanted to, but the way that it's been sewn, it's not gonna be ideal. So just do one flap, fold it over. 
you're good to go. Uh, and there's the rest of the tail. So like I said before, don't fret over stuff like this, over little splotches if you got some little splotches, little areas of extra, oops, I've got some paint on here, what happened here? Um, yeah, so don't stress about stuff like this because I kid you not, the scales are going to cover it all up, and what they don't cover up, it's actually going to probably get covered up by a sequins, B, the other cool stuff I'm going to show you guys later, um, and C, it actually makes it look like texture, so don't sweat it. But now that this is done, this stage is pretty much finished. So your base is now done, congratulations if you followed along and made it this far, and have been patient enough to wait for me. Okay, so like I said, congratulations if you've made it this far. I would love to see what you guys are working on. If you've been following along and you have a tale you'd like to show me, I would love it if you would tweet me. Um, I believe I'm Courtney Mermaid on Twitter, but I'll include it below just in case it's something else. I'm sometimes I'm Courtney Mermaid, sometimes I'm Vancouver Mermaid, sometimes I'm, I'm Van Mermaid, so it fluctuates. I don't know. I did most of this stuff on a whim. It's kind of silly. Anyways. Um, but yeah, definitely tweet to me. I would love to see what you guys um, have come up with so far, um, for sure. And don't forget that if you are a, are a patron of mine on Patreon, any tier, you guys are more than welcome to if you run into um, a more difficult problem, an issue you're having, any kind of problem at all really mermaid tail related. Um, don't forget that I am kind of your tutor on there, your mermaid helpline, if you will. So if you're having an a situation, um, feel free to make a post on page, uh, Patreon the patron only feed um, and I can go over things with you and troubleshoot uh, and try and get you back on track so if that's a situation or whatever I can ha answer like small questions and stuff on YouTube for sure but if, to go more in-depth personally about your tail making experience we want to do that on patreon link will be below and um, is there anything else yes don't forget, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That would be awesome, really help me out. As well as subscribe for more mermaid fun, more tail making videos, and mermaid adventures. Got more nerdy mermaid stuff coming up soon that I'm pretty pumped about. My neighbors are going crazy outside. And I apologize again for the AC on in the background. It is so warm. Guys, it's like 33 degrees in my apartment right now. And I got the lights on, the tail is drying like this this is the weather this is tail making season okay guys there's a reason i don't work in the dead of winter because nothing dries yay canada yay humidity <laughs> yay rainforest okay anyways hope you guys are doing awesome and i can't wait to show off my new glasses when i get them i'm so pumped and um yeah happy tail making happy swimming and i look forward to seeing you all in the next video bye guys